All right, now to a story that's all new at six. Is Prince William County too expensive for its own police officers? Well, county officials say yes. A majority of first responders and even teachers commute from outside of the county. And now the chair of the county's board of supervisors wants to change that. Tonight, Matt Gregory has a closer look at a new strategy to make living more affordable. Prince William County used to be the picture of affordability here in the DMV, but thanks to rising housing costs, now the county's own police officers, firefighters, even teachers say they can't afford to live here. So how do you change that? Well, the Prince William County Board of Supervisors chair says she has a plan she thinks will bring the workers home. It's not like there aren't homes to buy in Prince William County. There's quite a few for sale. The problem is who can afford to live here? If they can't get a house within a certain price range, they're going to move south. Prince William County Police Chief Peter Newsham says he hears it from his officers often. The majority of our officers now do not live in the county, and if you ask them, they'll tell you they don't live here because it's so expensive to buy here. Median price in Prince William County for a house is over half a million dollars. Board of Supervisors Chair for Prince William County Deshundra Jefferson says it's not just police. Firefighters and teachers also can't afford the prices. They're already working here. If they want to live here, Let's find a way to make it possible for them to do so. Here's Jefferson's plan, a housing down payment program for police, firefighters and educators. Loudoun County has a similar program where they're offering down payment grants mm -hmm. to people. And so we're going to look at, you know, how much should we offer? What should the qualifications be? Jefferson says they've already started the study to answer those questions. Imagine hearing somebody who puts on a uniform is putting their life on the line and they cannot even afford to live here. I just felt like that's the least we can be able to do. The proposal is still quite a ways away. It still has to go through the exploratory phase, and then if it is going to be voted on, it wouldn't take effect during this budget. It would have to be looked at for the next year's budget here in Prince William County. I'm Matt Gregory, WUSA 9.